And let me bring in David Bruno, who's on set with us here. David, you know, when you sit and you hear this, he seems unfazed. Um, his new bride seemed unfazed until they said they're going to look at the residue on her hands. How do you read this? How do you defend it? The one key is we don't know who was the gunman, uh, but there are charged with solicitation. Sure, right. Uh, th this is a new arrest. There's a new arrest. This third individual comes four months after, mm -hmm. right? So you have to question why is it? Why did it take so long? It could be a cooperation. Maybe one of these two individuals have agreed to work with the prosecutor's office because we have three attorneys now. And if I represented one of them, I'd be talking about you might want to take a deal here because you may have some valuable information information about the other two now speaking of valuable too even who did it yeah you're right with that and that's the whole thing you're right you could put some gray on that whole area david what about also the fact this is this beautiful home nothing stolen all right from the home and nick apparently told an informant uh, that he would get eight million dollars in assets if his parents died uh, a whole bunch from life insurance alone could be a motive yeah yeah big one money and love are the two best motives for right. prosecutors to have. When it's money, it's a substantial amount, $8 million, right? And that's probably why they wanted to hit both of them, the mother and the father, and I think they were unsuccessful, right? So how, do to, how do you defend them? How do you defend them? Well, it's, it's it, the phones. I, I, I hear, hear about these text messages, mm -hmm. right? In this day and age, for criminal defendants to be talking about a crime on their phones is the worst possible thing. Uh, I would be looking at the discovery. I'd be trying to file suppression motions on the phone and any evidence and possibly talking about talking to the prosecutor about a plea and cooperation. I was about to say turn on each other because there are multiple defendants and there may still be a gunman at large at this time. We don't even know. Sure. That will be a very valuable asset for a criminal defendant to provide to a prosecutor. Yeah. If somebody actually went in there and killed someone, that's the murder charge. It's more than the criminal solicitation than these three individuals are charged with. All right, David, thank you very much. And everybody